Hi folks, welcome into another Champion Sports Radio video blog. Along with Ryan Mueller, I'm Thomas Lee. Hard to believe, two weeks of the playoffs are already in the books. We head to week number three, and we've got three games to preview on this week's blog. We're going to start out Friday afternoon, 1.30 pregame, 2 o'clock kickoff. You can listen to it right here on championsportsradio.com. It's a good one. The number one team in Texas is Cedar Hill Longhorns taking on the undefeated Abilene Eagles. For me, it's all about Cedar Hill's defense, what they can do to shut down the run. They did a great job of that against Marcus, specifically in the second half and last week's ball game. but Herschel Sims is one talented running back. So I think for Cedar Hill, it comes down to making key stops on third down. They have to get off the field and give that explosive offense a chance to score. And when they make those key stops... It gets an opportunity for Elisha Olabo, Deion Sanders Jr., and those great punt returners to step onto the field. We're still waiting for them to really bust through here in postseason play. I think this might be the week that they turn the tide as Cedar Hill hopefully can keep on winning. We head to Friday night at SMU's Gerald J. Ford Stadium. You got the Carroll Dragons fresh off their unbelievable last second victory against the Allen Eagles, taking on uh, one of those great Arlington teams still alive. 4 5A has been spectacular in the postseason this year. Yeah, for the Bowie Volunteers, it's all been about Derek Davis. He is an outstanding quarterback. Christian Matthews carried this team last year, while well, Derek Davis is able to fill those shoes and more over 2,500 yards through the air, 35 touchdowns to just two interceptions. He is the complete package, dialing up that offense, a leader. So the Dragon defense, much like last week, they're going to have their hands full as well again. It never gets easy when you're the Carroll Dragons. It's tough week in and week out. But last week, unbelievable. You think you have the game won. Then comes uh, one second put back on the clock, a great touchdown pass. You go to overtime. Allen tries to go for two in the win, and the Dragon defense was there for the stop. I look for the, there to be no hangover from that Allen game. I think Coach Watson and the staff going to have the kids focus. Hey, big games, nothing new for the Carroll Dragons. They're going to come through in spectacular fashion. It should be a great ball game at SMU. Saturday, the scene shifts to the Birdville Fine Arts Athletic Complex, right where the Cedar Hill game the day before is going to be. This is going to be a 1 p.m. kickoff, 12.30 pregame here on Champion Sports Radio as the Cowbell Ta Cowboys are going to tangle with the Arlington Colts. And the Colts love to throw the ball around. That's one thing for sure. And they're going to have to be very careful because that Coppell defense this year has done a phenomenal job of picking off passes. 27 total now on the season. They had three last week against Plano East. Coach McBride came into this program wanting to instill perfection on the defensive side of the ball. He's gotten a lot of that this year. So for Coppell, try to keep those interceptions rolling in. Yeah, and toughness is the other thing. Uh, that Coach McBride has brought to the Capel Cowboys. This game, to me, is going to be a spectacular aerial assault. Hayden Hawk for the Capel Cowboys. Matt Jokel for the Arlington Colts. Two of the best quarterbacks in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. This should be a whole lot of fun. But it may come down to the ground game. Maybe Cam McDaniel is the difference maker like he was a week ago. All those touchdowns he put up against uh, the Pesh Panthers and then also the week before that against the Keller Indians. He's been spectacular in postseason play. For Ryan Mueller, I'm Thomas Lee, Champion Sports Radio, your home for the best playoff coverage. Again, 1.30 pregame on Friday for Cedar Hill Abilene, 12.30 pregame on Saturday for Coppell and Arlington, and it's all on ChampionSportsRadio.com.